This is Manyapara, a small forgotten village by the banks of the river Mullayar. Nothing much has ever changed in Manyapara. Its people live a listless life, customs grinding them down one relentless generation after another. The house on the edge of this graveyard belongs to its caretaker, Wilson Pereira. Pereira is a strange man with strange obsessions. Lost in a world of his own, a world grounded in rigid beliefs. He spends long afternoons concocting rare recipes that he guards from the rest of the world. Pereira loves everything under the sun. Meandering dragonflies, hissing cobras, Basking chameleons, he loves them all. These are some of his friends. They are long gone, but he feels their presence on most evenings. This is Pereira, withered and frail, his eyes tired, his hair shabby, his fingers more crooked than a witch's. Today is a sad day for him and he has no one to share his misery with. An eerie silence has blanketed the house. The walls, doors and windows all seem to be mourning. His little blue fish have all disappeared. They'll soon find their niche on the wall of the dead. Oh, it was all so perfect until that stormy night. Thunder followed lightning and darkness followed thunder. that enveloped the house as never before. And by morning, everything was back to normal. Or was it? Pereira went to greet his little blue fish, but a grim surprise awaited him. Huh? Where are you, my little ones? Jamman! Eh? You... You monster! You ate them, didn't you? Tell me the truth or else! No, no! I could never do something like that! The night was stormy, the rain was violent, the wind was merciless, the little fish was swimming about, and out of nowhere, a row of jagged teeth snapped at them! Kali sneaked up on the little ones and tore them to bits. It wasn't me, it was Kali, it was Kali! <gasps> Kali? You beast, how could you? No, no, I couldn't. I could never do something like that. The night was stormy, the rain was violent, the wind was merciless, the little fish was swimming about, and out of nowhere, a pair of sharp claws lashed at them. Chimban snatched the little ones and ate them one by one. It wasn't me, it was Chimban, it was Chimban. Uh... Pereira was disheartened. He started putting together a picture frame for the little blue fish. Who did this to you, my little ones? Pereira hung the picture on the wall with the others. What could be the truth? Is it what you believe? Or is it what others believe? A truth that suits them? An illusion that comforts them? Or does truth lie outside its definitions? Perhaps. And perhaps that's truly the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Pereira loves everything under the sun. Meandering dragonflies, hissing cobras, basking chameleons. He loves them all, one by one. Thank you.